Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Ray, with Kickstands Up 909. So, I got an Oregon trip coming up. I'm gonna go up there, see the old in-laws. But before I head up there, I wanted to do uh, a little something to my bike. I want to be able to charge like my phone and uh, different stuff like that. So, what I did was I picked up this bad boy right here. One of these bad boys um, comes with two uh, USB ports and comes with these but what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and plug it in right here sorry for the shitty camera work right into the battery tender line I'm gonna run that cord up through here pop it in my box and try and place it somewhere in here so that way it'll sit like that and then I can um, run my iPhone different types of uh, equipment that needs to be charged uh, because again I'm gonna camp on the way up there it's supposed to be cold but yeah we're gonna head up to Vanita Oregon I'm gonna try and do I'll try and do like 500 miles the first day this whole trips about 886 miles so a good ride but yeah I'm gonna try and do maybe go up to Redding California or Weed California I'm gonna camp somewhere up there, maybe some BLM camping. And then from there, I'll make the jump into Oregon the following day and get into uh, Eugene, Oregon. All right, enough of that. Let's start uh, hooking this bad boy up and uh, I'll get it all drilled out and tapped in and uh, I'll show you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, here's where we're at so far. We got the beef jerky, so we know we're eating good. We got it connected right there. I'm putting a little shield over it. I got this, uh, oh, where'd I put it at now? It's right here. I got that plugged in. I'm putting the flex tubing on it. I'm gonna run it all the way up. Got it ran inside already. I'm just gonna put this in here. I messed up here. Instead of using, you know, a hole saw, I just used two drill bits because I was lazy and didn't think about it. But yeah. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna finish hooking it up and tie it up, try and make it look nice, and then I'll show you guys the end product here in a few minutes. So I bought these little things right here. They're uh, taped. Then you can slide the zip tie through it. And what I'm gonna do is run the wire up along here. Boop, boop, boop. And what I'm hoping to do is uh, Put the little, this guy, just mount it right there with some double-sided tape. Sorry for the crappy uh, camera work. But yeah, that way when I'm out there on the road at night, I can always charge up my stuff, but yeah, it's coming along nicely. Almost done. A little project after work, just something to mess around with. Well guys, that big, huge project is finally done. Took a total of mm, 40 minutes. I had to run and get a few things. I always change my mind when I start on little projects like this. I'm like, oh, you know, this would work better or that would look cleaner. So let's just check out the final end for this, okay? Check it out. So here we are. Sorry for the shitty camera angle again. Battery tender. I gotta figure out something to wrap around this so that way water doesn't get in there. But I just ran it underneath the handle. Bar, the handle grip. Boom, boom, boom. Come up. And then what I did was I bought these little 3M things that have zip ties. So the wire stays up and out of the way. And then right here, again, this has two USB chargers on it. And then on and off switch, hit it. There we go. Phone is charging. Look at that. We are good to go. So yeah. That's for when I go camping, like, again, I just told you earlier in the video, I'm going to Oregon. Um, I'm gonna be BLM camping, so there's gonna be no charging stations whatsoever. Um, note, real quick on this Pan America. When I talked to the guy and I said I wanted to do this, um, the mechanic over there, he said, hey, be real careful because the Pan America has a really small battery. And he goes, it's not like your old street glide. And I'm like, oh, okay. 
He said, if you charge something like that overnight, you might wake up to a dead battery. So I'm gonna try this out for a little bit. I'm gonna see how it works. I think what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna let it charge my phone to like 100%, start the bike, turn it off. And then before I go to bed, I'll turn off that switch on that little charging thing, the USB port. So yeah, getting ready for Oregon. That's projects down. And the uh, next one's gonna be uh, probably just going through all my gear, make sure everything I need. So yeah, with that being said, stay dirty, my friends.